Hey guys, I'm Jeremy Yoder from Mad Scientist Barbecue, and today I can finally officially announce that I'm releasing a line of handmade leather barbecue aprons. I could not be more thrilled about this because I've been wanting to do it for a long, long time. Now when people watch my videos, one question that they ask me all the time is, where did you get your leather apron? To have that question answered, stick around to the end of the video, but without further ado, let's get into the promo. So if you liked what you saw in that video, for most of it, I was wearing this apron right here. And at the end, you saw the three different colors. And so to kind of review that, we've got chocolate, which is this color that I'm wearing right now, like that. And cognac, which is a medium brown leather color like this. And then finally, I didn't really love the black aprons, but I found a beautiful dark, dark brown that I like a lot. And so those are the three color options for the aprons. They're all gonna be designed the same way. They're gonna have the same pockets and everything like that. It's just a matter of color choice. To give you some more background on the aprons themselves, they are handmade by the Amish. Uh, some people might know this, but I was born Amish, so I kind of got a connection with them. And so they're handmade by the Amish in Northern Indiana. And so obviously made in the United States and high quality old world craftsmanship is exactly what I was after and I thought this would be the best way to go about doing that. Now to answer the question specifically about where I got the leather apron that I wore in my videos for a long time, I was actually in the Czech Republic and I would wanted a leather barbecue apron for a long time and I searched everywhere on the internet and couldn't really find what I was looking for and it just so happened that I was walking through this market in Prague and there was a leather worker who had wallets for sale and belts and purses and things like that and so i said uh hey what is that how much is that and it was a leather apron and so he said oh it's not for sale i said okay well how much is it He's like oh it's it's really not for sale i said that's fine but really how much is it so i got it and i wore it for a long time but there were kind of limitations to how functional it could be for barbecue and so what i wanted to do with these aprons is not only produce them by hand in the United States with high quality leather, but I wanted them to have functional pockets for things that I need when I'm barbecuing. So the two big pockets on the bottom, I can use for gloves and glove liners or whatever I might wanna put in there. And then these are specifically designed for a digital instant read thermometer and also for a phone if you wanna put your phone up here so you're not reaching behind the apron to try to grab your phone from your pocket. I just thought it was more convenient that way. And finally, I slap for a pen or a pencil just because I wanna write things down sometimes and that way, it's just right there and every time I put on the apron I have all the tools I need to go out and do whatever I need to do at the smoker. So this marks the end of kind of a long quest to find the perfect barbecue apron. And what I usually would find when I look for barbecue aprons is, you know, some cheap fabric and it might have pictures of pigs on it or something that I really wasn't interested in. What I wanted is something that was high quality, that you could see it's high quality just by looking at it and functions beautifully. And so this is the end of the road with that. Maybe I'm gonna do some more design modifications in the future, but I'm really thrilled with this. And so I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Um, let me know, maybe you have some ideas of things that we could add or improve or change. But I hope you guys find the time to check out the website, look at the aprons, and maybe get a gift for yourself or somebody you care about. So you're gonna see me wearing these aprons in future videos of mine on YouTube. And I hope that some of you guys will be wearing this apron the next time you go to barbecue.